It's time for another edition of Coach's Corner with women's basketball coach Matilda Mossman. Hello again and welcome to Coach's Corner with head coach Matilda Mossman as we get to the end of the regular season, believe it or not, and get ready for postseason play. And coach, the great thing about what happened this past week is team played well and you finished strong, got a nice win on the road against Cincinnati, right? Yeah, we go back to USF uh, last Wednesday night, senior night for uh, Ashley Clark and, and Kelsey Grovey and Tara Williams. And we're with uh, USF for the whole first half. And we play even with them in the fourth quarter. Actually, I outscore them in the fourth quarter. We just, we just had a problem getting stops in that third quarter. They outscored us 22 to 11. So they outscored us by 11 in that one quarter, and we end up losing the game by six or seven. So really happy with how our team played against the number 20 team in the country. Uh, they have a great player in Courtney Williams. She had 33 against us. It's her first time to play in this building. I kind of gave her a hard time after the game. Mm. That you know, her first time here, and she scores 33. Mm -hmm. But uh, she's a great player. But uh, Ashley Clark for us stepped up, did a really great, really nice job. Uh, had 25 in the game. Um, so, and then we had some. Uh, so we had three people in double figures in that game. And and uh, the key was we got stops at, at opportune times. Uh, we only had 14 turnovers, but they converted that into points. I think they had 16 points off our turnovers. So, you know, you take away some turnovers and the points they score off turnovers, and it's, and it's a different game. But I felt good about the way we played. Yeah, Jordan Holmes played well early for you, didn't she? She got some, she helped carry the team. Yeah, somewhere. she came in and hit some buckets early and, you know, got some rebounds for us. And, uh, you know, she's been playing well as of late, uh, hitting a better percentage. Early in the year, she wasn't shooting a very good percentage. And so um, just in the, in the last month, she's at least taking better shots, taking high percentage shots, and, and hitting shots at crucial times. And so you come away from that game, uh, you're never happy losing, obviously, but happy with the effort, no question. It give you a little momentum going to Cincinnati? Yeah, I think so. You know, the big thing is we want our guys to play hard. You know, no matter, no matter who the opponent is, no matter what the score is, we want you to play hard. And we had had a game prior to that where we just didn't feel like we gave a full out effort. But against South Florida, we gave great effort. And then going to Cincinnati, uh, we knew that game was going to be tough. They beat us here at our place uh, by two. Uh, just an ugly game. Nobody could make make shots. Mm -hmm. But we go to Cincinnati. It's um, uh, you know again, Ashley Clark just plays continues to play well, continues to be ex be consistent. And then you know Jordan Holmes makes a couple of buckets. Uh, Tara Williams has a good game against Cincinnati. So, um, you know, playing well against USF and then playing well and winning at Cincinnati, I hope will give us some momentum going into this conference tournament. And Ashley Clark is really spectacular here late in her career. I mean, you mentioned at 26 and then 27 mm -hmm. against Cincinnati. So yeah. is she raising it even further? You know, she's just so focused right now. She just really focused, really honed in to, to what we need to do, has really bought in to to, to just the, the team concept, uh, you know, kicking the ball more of, you know, she's getting assists now, you know, mm -hmm. even though she's getting 27 points, uh, she had five assists in the game. So just, I think her all around play, you know, she continues to rebound. I know it's a big deal for her to try to get a double double every, every time out. And then, so she has 27 points and eight rebounds. And so she, right now she's our leading scorer. She's our leading rebounder. And the good thing is all of her numbers have gone up in the last month. And, uh, you know, to get 14 out of Ashley Hughes was, was big, certainly, in the Cincinnati game, huh? Yeah, Ashley hit some big shots. Uh, at times the, the score was close. Uh, she hit a couple of threes, and then uh, she hit a couple off the dribble that I think people weren't expecting. You know, she's, she's more known as a long-range shooter, but as people closed out on her and they're getting, getting up in the air, Ashley was able just to get by them, take one or two dribbles and pull up. And so she hit some mid-range jumpers in there, and, and that was good to see. And two other areas that you don't uh, always have success in, but you certainly did against Cincinnati, is shooting at 50% and then out-rebounding the, the Bearcats. Yeah, that's uh, we don't out-rebound people very <laughs> often, so that was good. And, you know, we kept our turnovers down. We only had nine turnovers in the game. So just, uh, you know, we played well. Uh, I had some classmates there from my high school, uh, made the three-hour drive up from Campbellsville, Kentucky, and so they're all behind us. We had a nice little cheering section, and um, you know, Jessica Pangana's family is able to be there, uh, so because they don't get a chance to see her play very often. So, um, you know, it was, it was just a good trip, and it was one of those quick trips. You get in there Friday night, play the game early Saturday, and get home Saturday night. So it was good. So, what did your classmates think? That, you know, some of them know a little bit about basketball, others not so much. Uh, <laughs> a lot of questions beforehand. What are your colors? What's your mascot? 
uh, I, I just told them, we have a website, you know, if you'll just <laughs> Google Tulsa Hurricane Basketball, I think you can find out some information. So they had done some research before the game. They knew what our record was. They knew what Cincinnati's record was. Uh, they had a great time. It was great seeing all those guys again, and it was just a big road trip for them and kind of just a way for them to all connect and made me feel good that they, th they thought that, that much to just make that three-hour trip. They rented a van, uh, you know, had uh, – we, we brought T-shirts for them. It, it was it was kind of fun. Now, see, I heard that you didn't want any of your staff or anybody to ask them any questions. That, Get that inside information. Yeah, that, that was a well. rule. I told them you're not allowed to ask any questions. But, of course, Steph Hall would see one of them in the bathroom. And, sure. of course, questions came yeah. up. So, you know, I'm not sure. What was Matilda like way, way back when? You know, what kind of, you know, what, give is, us some stories, smoking uh, in the bathroom or whatever, yeah, you well, know, or whatever. Forty years ago, things happened that you don't remember sure. anymore. So I'm sure they made stuff up. Yeah. You know, oh, they I don't bet. remember. Okay. They don't remember back then. <laughs> but it was good, wasn't it? It yeah. was really good to, it was to good. see that. And a great way to finish, you know, for the team mm -hmm. to finish the regular season strongly. And now, and we'll talk about this in a moment after a break, but now you, you got a little bit better positioning as far as the seed is concerned because you win. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, we, in preseason, we were picked to finish six, and, you know, we struggled through a lot of the season. Um, you know, we, we were young. We had people out with injuries. Uh, we've really missed Crystal Polk. You know, she's missed the last three games, been out with a concussion, and, you know, she gave us some inside scoring, uh, gave us some some presence inside. Uh, Ty J is a phenomenal rebounder, is, 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 does a great job of, of defending. Uh, Tierra has given us some good minutes. She's just undersized, and that knee of hers, I mean, she, it's just tough for her to get up and down the floor for long periods of time. So we really miss that, that third substitution of getting, getting somebody with some size and somebody that could score a little bit. So, you know, hopefully we'll have her back for the conference tournament and give us a little bit of a scoring presence inside. Well, the conference tournament is next, and we'll talk about the seating, the schedule, and all of that next on Coach's Corner with head coach Matilda Mossman. Our core values form the foundation of the American. Competitiveness. Passion. Character. They show our true colors on and off the court. Respect. Accountability. Chasing greatness. They lead us. Discipline. Focus. Trust. They are the essence of our identity. Family. Tradition. We are the American Athletic Conference. We're back on Coach's Corner, and uh, the brackets are up now for the University of Tulsa and uh, their participation in the American Athletic Conference Tournament. And uh, you play on Friday, and you play late. I don't know if you like that or not. It's the 7 o'clock game. It's the third of the three games that day. Any thoughts on that? Well, it's not ideal. It's a lot of time sitting in the hotel room and... Uh, you know, there's just there's only so many things you can do on a game day. You know, you you go do a little shoot around, but um, you know, it's it's. I'd prefer to play the early game, and, go, and then you can sit back and watch games and just relax and not have to worry about it. But you know, it, that's okay. We're we we thought we might be the seven seed, and now we're the six seed, so that puts us a a step up. And uh, you know, playing Houston for the third time, it's. Uh, uh, I think either either it's a game either team can win. You know, mm -hmm. Houston's playing better. You know, they've they they beat um, SMU on Saturday, um, and struggled. You know, played well against Memphis and, and lost on Monday. But you know, they, they're athletic. Um, you know, we're going to have our hands full. I was going to say you did beat them twice. What did you do well against them? Well, the first game, it just we started out really slow, and we got some separation in the second half, and uh, ended up winning by by 20. But then the game here, it was just it was ugly. I mean, neither team could score. The score was 44 to 28. Uh, Houston shot 16 percent. I'd like to say that's because we played great defense. Uh, it's more of a matter of they just didn't hit shots, and we've been there. You know, mm -hmm. we've been there where we just couldn't hit shots. So. Um, Ty J Scales did not play in that game. Uh, she was out with a hamstring injury. Crystal Polk did play in that game. So, uh, you know, would that have made a difference? You know, I, I think so, because just because of the athleticism. But, um, you know, Houston is a team that they're not going to lay down. They're just because they finished 11th, they're, they're still playing hard. Uh, again, two games ago, they get a win against Memphis, against the number four team. They play well enough to win. So, 
we're going to have our hands full. Well, and that's mm -hmm. the 6-11 game. And uh, remember, with the 11-team league, you have five that get the bye. And uh, then it's 6-11, 8-9, 7-10. Do, those are competitive games, aren't they? I mean, they, they should they be are. a good first day of yeah. basketball. Three huh? games the first day. They should be really, really good games, close games, uh, games where either team has a chance to win. If you're able to win, and we always put that if in there, uh, you expect to win. But if you win, you, it's, it's Temple. And, you know, I mean, you, there's a possibility you might get South Florida in that second round if you want, if you were, if you were the seventh seed. But... Does it matter at this point? And Temple, uh, what kind of problems did they present you? Well, I think it's it's all about matchups. And would we play, rather play Temple, rather play uh, South Florida? Uh, both both of those teams are way different. And when we played South Florida here at home and lost by seven, they didn't have their freshman scorer, right. La Laxa. She was, she's leading the league in three-point percentage, three-point attempts. I mean, the kid can really shoot the ball. And they didn't have her. They'll have her back for the conference tournament. So. Temple is a different team altogether. They don't have a lot of size. They've got a bunch of little guards that just run around and and they, they defend and, and they get layups off their defense and um, they're really scrappy. They get after loose balls. So um, we're not really looking that far ahead though. We're just looking at Houston <laughs> right now. We, we just, you know, we've never gotten a win in the conference tournament in the American. Uh, so that's the goal right now. It, you know, it's only our second year, but uh, you know, we got that, that by last year and then had to play a team that had played a previous game, and, and it was Tulane, and I really felt Tulane was in a better better rhythm than us because they had just played a game. So, you know, if we can get by Houston, hopefully that gives us a little bit of a rhythm going into the next opponent. So win in advance, as always, is the, the key phrase, if you will, for tournament play. And uh, hey, you, you, a few years ago, four, four wins in four days. It's not like you guys haven't done it before, right? Right, yeah, we've done it before, uh, and uh, we were this number six seed uh, that year. Mm -hmm. So any, anything can happen. Coach, good luck, and we'll talk to you afterward. All right, thanks. Matilda Mossman, uh, the University of Tulsa women's head basketball coach. And that's Coach's Corner.